Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to go over a light melee assassin build in New World, which I find is not only a lot of fun, but also pretty darn effective. Now most of the time when you think of a melee assassin build, you essentially jump straight to you know, Sword and Board or Blunderbuss or some, something along those lines. But in this video we're actually going to review a build that focuses on the Great Axe and the Hatchet. Now the overall goal of this build is to pick a target take them down as fast as possible and then get out of the situation and then rinse and repeat. Now I'm going to show you how I set this build up so you can kind of play around with it and make it your own. Here's a breakdown of the different skills and abilities I use for this build starting with Great Axe. The three skills I use are Charge, Reap, and Maelstrom and the overall goal for this portion of the build is to stay with the target that you choose. Many times this target is going to be either a light healer or a light dex builder so they're going to be able to roll away or use their rapier to get away in most situations. But with charge and reap you can essentially stay right next to your enemy and burst as much damage as possible. The second part of this build uses the hatchet where I use feral rush, berserk, and raging torn. Now what's nice is that Feral Rush actually supports the purpose of the Great Axe tree because it allows you to stay with your target and keep them in place due to the fact that you can actually inflict a root on your target for up to two seconds, which then sets you up perfectly to utilize the Berserk and Raging Torrent to dish off tons of damage pretty darn quickly. And of course, with the Hatchet tree, we use Defy Death, which is essentially a second life for you on the battlefield, which is literally game changing. Um, I'll be showing you some clips after I explain how this build is built together just so you can actually see Defy Death in action. Now I'm not going to dig into each of these different passives but what I will do is I will share this link to the build within the description of the YouTube video so you can actually click into it and dig a little bit deeper and set it up perfectly the way you like to play it. When it comes to the attributes of this build, I like to break it down at 300 strength, 50 dexterity, and then everything else in constitution. The reason I stress the importance of 300 strength is that it allows your light and heavy attacks to now gain grit on both the great axe and the hatchet. Also, this will now allow you to utilize the thwarting strikes ability on both of your weapons, leading to a 12% additional damage output on everything you deal which honestly does have a very large impact. When it comes to 50 dexterity, you will now gain a 10% increased chance of a critical hit, which helps your overall damage output altogether, as well as increasing the overall weapon damage of your hatchet. And lastly, the reason I use over 150 constitution, but really basically whatever's left over, is to support your overall cushion and survivability um, with this amount of constitution, you should be able to take down your enemy before they take you down and then get out of the situation so you can rinse and repeat and keep dishing out as much damage as possible. When we dig into the equipment for this build, it's very important that you are overall light. Now the reason for that is that you're going to be dodging, you're going to be rolling, and you're going to be moving very, very fast in this build. So you, you want to make sure that you're light because that maximizes your overall mobility. Um, keep in mind that currently I do not have the you know, best in slot, best in slot gear that I recommend for this build. But the two main perks that I do really recommend are both resilient and shirking fortification. The reason I recommend these is that it really increases your overall survivability and makes sure that you stay alive while your target doesn't. The four main weapon perks that I recommend you utilize for this build also are for Reap and Charge for the Great Axe and then Feral Rush and Berserk for the Hatchet. Now I'm not going to break down each and every one of these, but essentially the main goal for utilizing these four weapon perks is that it reduces overall cooldowns for your build and also maximizes the amount of time your enemy is either stunned or rooted. So now for this last portion of this video, I'm going to share some clips of this build in action. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments section if you do anything different with your assassin build or your overall thoughts and how you can kind of improve it and make it better all around.
Thanks again for watching and enjoy some of these action shots.